What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Sacred Gold Nuzlocke Edition. In the last episode, we had yet another tragic death. The death of Fuego the Fourth. Our fourth Charmander slash Charmeleon slash not a Charizard yet, but you know what I mean. He is now gone. He has passed on into the afterlife of Nuzlocke Pokemon. And so, we're gonna be continuing because... Yeah, here comes Lyra. She's she's pretty great. I have a little bit of a thing for her. I mean, what? Good work, Grandpa. The Pokemon you raised for me has been healthy as can be. You look fit too. Oh, why, thank you, Grandpa. Hi, Mosif. That's me. She's actually mentioning me before, well, not before Grandpa, but this is Mosif. He's a trainer. He seems to be getting better at raising Pokemon. Not as good as you, of course, Grandpa. Well, thanks for the wonderful compliments, Lyra. I try so hard and you don't even notice. It's like you don't even notice me, Lyra. Jeez. Alright, well, this is the daycare lady. Let me introduce my friend. This is Mosif. Ah, this is your boyfriend. I see. Oh, well, that's that's quite nice, Grandpa. Oh, okay, Lyra. Lyra, I'm standing right here. You're just crushing all my feelings. This really hurts. Right, Mosif. Come and see us anytime. Well, I better go now. See ya. Okay. See ya later, Lyra. Once again, just... Oh, look at that. This is my Pokegear number. Ooh, picking up them digits. All right. Well, Lyra gave it to us. If, if anyone asks, you know, she gave it to us. I'm taking notes every time they do funny things. Give me a call and I'll share them with you. Okay, Lyra. Grandma, don't say anything. We're both trainers and we're supposed to exchange numbers. That's all. We're supposed to now. Hmm. You know, I think Lyra's got a little bit of a thing for me as well. Anyway, as I said, this is the daycare lady. That is literally her name. She doesn't have a real name. Real names, you know... It's not, that's not what we're about. Fuego, I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry that you have to be here. I really miss you, man, but... Yeah, I'm gonna be dumping Skarner in here for a little bit. I say dumping as if, like, it's really bad, but I'm just gonna leave Skarner in here for a little while. Look at him having so much fun there. We're gonna come back and get him later. He's gonna be a super pimped out Skarner, the gardener, and we'll see how he's doing when we come back. But we do have one thing to take care of, and that is the death of the marvelous Fuego the Fourth. Good night, you sweet old pal buddy man. I said good night, sweet prince, once before, so I wasn't gonna say it again, but there we go. I could actually leave another Pokemon there. Um, you know what? Why not? Let's leave uh Jesse here too, because who knows when I've used Jesse last, and he seems like he could be a tank if we actually get him some levels. So let's leave him in here for a little bit. Jesse and Skarner, you guys have fun. Don't do anything crazy in there, guys. Alright, well, let's head out of here now. And uh, we actually haven't caught a Pokemon in this route yet. I don't think we've actually run into any yet. So we can definitely do that still. And we're going to be doing that in just a little bit. Before that though, we get Daycare Man and Daycare Ladies Pokegear numbers. That's really great. As I said, those are literally their names. So instead of Munching Orange from now on, you guys can just call me Pokemon YouTuber Guy. Or Pokemon YouTube Video Making Guy. Because they literally go by what they are. He's a Daycare Man. She's a Daycare Lady. So I guess I'm the Pokemon... YouTube video guy number 700 actually I don't know how many youtubers there are that do Pokemon probably more than 700 though I don't know anyway here's Camp Tad with the Bweasel I was uh, a little scared that Yeg Dip there would have way less of HP but for some reason he was full I could have sworn that last battle Yeg Dip ended up at like half HP or something but I guess not there we go only one Pokemon on him that's kind of lame Camp Tad I was hoping you'd have more give me a little bit more EXP Finn did gain a level though, so I guess that is fine. As we are here at the gate to Goldenrod, but I'm pretty sure there's an item over here. Yes, there is. And here is our first wild encounter here in Route 34, I think. It is a Drowsy. Alright, that's pretty cool. We don't have a Psychic type yet. Uh, I gotta think of a nickname for it though, because I usually suck at coming up with those at the spot. Uh, but the Nickname Raider is actually coming up pretty soon. I think if we use a Twister here, we won't kill it and get it a little bit lower. Come on, don't kill it. I shouldn't have even risked it. Should have just gone for the Pokeball, but you know me, always being all crazy. Alright, at least we didn't kill it though, so now I'm gonna go for the Pokeballs and uh, gotta think of a nickname for this guy here. He's he's quite the creeper, drowsy, you know, got the big long nose, got the weird hands pointing up in the air sometimes. Actually, it's mostly creepy because of that anime episode where like the, the Hypno is like kidnapping kids, and they're, they're not Hypno, drowsy. And then there is a Hypno in like Fire and Leaf Green that keeps not that little girl. If I could remember that little girl's name, but I don't. So we're just gonna nickname him Cherry because that is literally the first thing that came to my mind. So 
Everybody welcome Cherry the Drowsy! I'll, I'll try to use him, I don't know if we actually will get to that often because... I don't know. I'll probably like put the EXP share on him or something because Finn has gotten plenty of levels. I don't... I think he can stand up for himself now. He is level 22, so there we go. We pick up the TM for Aerial Ace, which is coincidentally my name, Ariel. Not spelled like that though. Spelled with an E. You could say it's Ariel, but then that would sound really weird, like eerie with an L. The eerie L. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's go into the Pokemon Center because as we're in a major city, there's a couple of cool things to get here. Starting off with you, Mr. Sirman. Thank you for the wonderful TM. You guys may see the guy standing in front of the map there. You, you probably by now should know what he does. Do you give us anything, man? Oh, okay. They both give us TMs. All right. I know that there's usually um, a TM. I think you can get all the TMs in this game. So usually in the Pokemon Center, there will be at least one person that gives you a TM in these games. So there we go. That time we got two. I believe we got Calm Mind and some sort of fighting type equivalent to that. Let me see if he actually mentions it again. Bulk Up. Okay, that's what it is. I'm pretty sure this one's Calm Mind. Yep. All right. Now let's talk to this man. You all know what he does by now. Would you like to take the quiz? Yes, excellent. Let's get started. Question number one. I have no idea because I never. Well, I have played yellow, but you know, I'm gonna say yes. Okay, I guess not. I I thought I think Giovanni does have a Nido Queen, but I don't know what level it is. So, well, order of elimination or process of elimination. Can Pikachu learn Surf within yellow? Okay, apparently not. Well. I know that there's a surfing Pikachu somewhere. I, I guess it's not Pokemon Yellow. Both of these questions are from Pokemon Yellow. Keep that in mind. Again, haven't played Yellow. Can Magmar loan Overheat in Fire Red? I don't think so. Okay. Is Overheat even in Fire Red and Leaf Green? I think it's, it is, but... Well, it's in third gen, but... Um... I don't think they can read. Okay. That would, that would be kind of weird, because it's a little... Well, never mind. Oh, God! No! Are you serious? I meant to pick Chimchar! <laughs> No. Okay, well, I guess now we have a Turtwig. That's really great. Um, I meant to pick Chimchar because you guys actually let me know that I should get Chimchar because it would really help out against Whitney. But I guess now we have a Turtwig and we have to think of a name for it, which is going to be Ramus. Because I can't ever think of names and Ramus is yet another League of Legends character. That's, that's okay. All our Let's Plays... All my Let's Plays will now be nicknamed after Pokemon's po Pokemon Champions. Yeah, not League of Legends Champions. Pokemon Champions. All right, so we have Ramus Garner. I was going for Wukong the Chimchar because that was my Chimchar from, I think, Flora Sky. And, okay, apparently we have a free slot still. That's cool. I'm actually going to head up to the next route then, and we're probably going to catch a Pokemon there. Let's see what our team is looking like right now. I know you guys can see it in the sidebar, but I can't really do that because sidebar is post-production stuff. So let's give Cherry here the EXP share and see what kind of crazy moves he can learn. Um, good thing at least Ramus is already at level 20, so we don't really have to do too much training to him. And um, I would actually put Finn up first, but we'll see what's in the upcoming route. I'm not going to fight Whitney just yet because now especially because we have Turtwig. I meant to get Chimchar again, but due to my impatientness and going fast through dialogues, we screwed it up. All right, well, let's see what is lurking around these buildings. I know that there's the underground where we can do a little bit of extra training as well. Apparently, Bill is somewhere around here. Bill usually gives you an Eevee in this game. Maybe he actually gives us a second one, and we can still bring back Darwin by some sort of epic miracle where we get another Eevee in. It won't be the real Darwin, but, you know, we can, we can bring back Darwin. Oh, gosh, what is this? Okay, well, here's Meryl. I guess this is the underground, and here's Lyra again. She just can't get enough of us. Hi, Mosif. You are just in time. Just in time for what? I think it's time that we had a friendly battle. Are you ready? Let's go, Meryl. Okay, well, I guess we're battling Lyra. Didn't even expect this, and I really hope she doesn't have very strong Pokemon. All right, lead Arena up first. I think I'm just going to switch out to Finn because I, I think, yeah, Finn, you need to battle some more, buddy. All right, well, it had Blizzard, so I guess that was probably a good idea that I switched to Finn. I was here just hoping to get some mud shots off, and okay, this is getting way too close for. Co Are you serious? A lemonade. You have a, you have a lemonade. Okay. Well, I'm gonna use my potion because I do not want to die to your blizzard, buddy. That would not be very good. I think we did lower its speed quite a few times though with mud shots, so that's pretty great. One more mud shot should be able to take it out as it continuously keeps missing. I don't know if mud shot actually lowers speed or accuracy, but 
It looks like it was accuracy because we were doing quite some good, uh, or she was missing Blizzard a lot. Though it, it's Blizzard, so to be honest, it, it usually would miss Blizzard. There goes Roselia, didn't even try there, man. Alright, Feather Dance, what does this even do? The user covers the foe with a massive down that sharply lowers the attack stat. I don't really want that. I if, if you learn Roost or something, that would be pretty great, but not really Feather Dance. Next up is Meryl. Oh, I guess we have Ramus now. That can deal with Meryl, can't it? Mr. Ramus, you have Razor Leaf and Absorb, as well as Curse. So let's go for some Razor Leaf action. Of course, he's going for stupid double team. I wish Ramus had, like, Leech Seed. I think we can actually go... Oh, a critical. Nice. I think we can actually go to, like, the Move Relearner and hope that we can maybe teach him back. Final Pokemon for her is going to be... Nine tails. I'm gonna go for mud shot. I think that'll do more damage than water gun though I'm not sure let's okay not even doing that much at least we lowered its speed. Oh god Okay, at least flamethrower is not doing too much damage and that was a critical hit So I don't even know which one is uh doing more damage here. I guess water guns not really doing too much I'm gonna go for a heal because I just don't want to risk stuff at this point I shouldn't even be speeding up this battle. What am I doing man? I'm just being a little crazy today. It's fine. We're good. We're mud shotting it away, lowering its speed once again. Now we're gonna risk it with a mud slap. All right. We managed to do it though. I went a little nuts on that one, but that's fine. It worked out in the end. As Cherry actually finally grew a level. I don't even know what level Drowsy evolves at. That was fun. When you follow this tunnel, you'll see a dress up shop. That's where your Pokemon can put on accessories to dress up and take pictures. By the way, here's the fashion case. Thank you, Lyra. I really appreciate the fashion case. It's. It's really quite a nice thing that you've given me here. Speaking of photos though, we've never seen Cameron. You know guys, or I don't, okay, well Bugsy's calling us, that's quite unusual. How are you doing? What's up? You know everybody's really into bug type when they're kids, but then for some reason as people grow up at some point they'll start to like bug type Pokemon less and less. How about you? Do you still like bug types? Even if I grow up I'll never stop liking bug type Pokemon. No way! Alright Bugsy, thanks for calling me buddy. I guess Bugsy might have something for us too. I wish Lyra would call us more. That would be great. I'm actually not going to go to the underground just yet. One, because our Pokemon are now lowered in HP, I'm pretty sure. So you know what? Let's just go and heal up. And uh, I may actually do some shopping too. Let's just... I'm quite happy though that Ramus is off to a good start. It's a, it's a good sign that things of things to come. At least if we had Leech Seed or if we had Leech Seed, uh, that might help out against Whitney. I'm not even going to do Whitney in today's episode though because honestly... I'm just so scared of this lady. Apparently she went flying by saying I've got to get a radio card. Alright, well let's go ahead and activate the event then and then we'll head up to the route to the north where we can actually catch ourselves yet another Pokemon. Um, yeah, we left Skarner and Jesse over in the daycare so we'll pick those up later on. Let's actually head over to the radio tower. Hey, you look familiar. This is the radio tower. What do you want, you pest? Scram! Team Rocket. Team Rocket, they just never learn. And I thought that was Cameron for a second, because that's what Cameron the camera guy looks like, but I guess not. Welcome to Goldenrod's Radio Tower. Ah, oh, there's Whitney. How you doing, girl? How's it going? My name's Whitney. I heard about the quiz to win a radio card, so I came here to get one. But this quiz is so hard. It's not the only thing that's hard, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> um... You know what, There's a, this has gone a little too far in today's episode. I'm going to go ahead and stop now. Alright, well over here we've got uh, lullabies on the radio. That's Who plays lullabies on the radio? Are you serious? What is going on? I think this is R Mary. Mary from the radio show that we've yet to listen to. Oh no, this is Buena. Do you know about the radio show called Buena's Password? If you can tell me the password from the program, you will earn points. Save up those points and trade them with that sweet young lady over there for some choice prizes. Here you go, it's your very own points card. Alright. Thank you, Buena. You're so Buena. If you don't know, Buena means good. Well, Buena, Bueno means good. Buena, I guess it, it also means good. But you know what? Let's, don't worry about it. It's, it's Spanish. It's confusing sometimes. It's also sometimes easier than English. Maybe that's just because it's my first language, but I think it's, it is a lot of times. There's just a lot of English words that have really weird pronunciations for the way they're spelled. All right, so. We have yet another quiz. We're probably going to fail horribly at this one, unless it's the normal one, in which case I'll probably know all of it. Let's go. The first question. Can you check the town map with your Poke Gear? Of course you can. That's... I guess it is the normal quiz. So, one quiz that we can probably finally get. Alright. Nidorina is only female. Kirk, the Pokeball creator, uses apricots as ingredients. No. Yes! No, it's apricorns, I guess. Okay. See, I I got a little over something. I thought I could get them all, and then I was wrong about one, and now 
I guess it was apricorns. I thought it was apricots, but it's apricorns, I guess. You are correct. The fourth question. It's impossible to use a TM on Magikarp. True. Well, not in freaking Sacred Gold, I don't think. Alright, let's just go for true. And one more question. In Professor Oak's popular show, Pokemon Talk, is he on with Mary? No? Okay. He's not on with Mary? Who's Professor Oak getting on with nowadays? I thought it was Mary. I guess maybe like Ash's mom or something. You know what? What is going on with today's episode? I keep on keep on uh, doing these these things that should not be going on here. So I guess Professor Oak's not on with Mary, and there we go. Now we get the radio card. We can listen to the radio with the Poke Gear. All right. Whitney is so impressed by our skills that of course she's gonna come over to us. I thought the answer to the third question was Charlie Apricots. Oops, it's time to go back to the gym. You know you can try more than one time, Whitney. Don't know if you've noticed that, but give it a couple of attempts if you fail the first time. I failed three times, so you can definitely attempt a couple of times. I think I only failed twice, actually, but you know what? It's fine. Here is the nickname Raider. We can probably rename our Pokemon at some point there. So uh, if there's any nicknames that you think are not up to the standard of my random nicknames that I come up with on the spot, then uh, now we can actually change those. Yes, I do know how to listen to the radio. Thank you for explaining it nonetheless, lady. That's really great. Okay, see if you have anything important to tell me about this route. I received this letter the other day from a friend of mine. Here's the reply that I wrote. I'm stuck here and I was wondering if you could deliver it. He's on Route 31. Can you help a guy out? Alright, well, I guess uh, we get a Spearow with mail. Huh. Um, I don't, I don't think we own this Spearow though. Do we, do we own this Spearow? And also, was that technically the next route? Because that would kind of ruin our chances of catching a po- I don't think this counts as the route, does it? It's like a gate, so... Alright, well, we get Ducks the Spiro. I suppose we can actually just put him in the PC. I just want- can I read the mail? What is- is the mail is removed, this written message will be lost. No, that's not okay. Okay, there we go. Alright, I guess we have a Spiro now. I don't think we can actually- well, we can probably use it in battle, considering he's on our party, but we're not gonna use him just yet. As we have a double battle going on here. I kind of don't want to go into a double battle though because last time we did a double battle, you guys already know what happened. AKA Fuego. The the man Fuego died, so that I don't want to go into that again. And this guy is a bird catcher, so I probably could have gone for any Pokemon. I don't know why, I keep being really scared to just send out random Pokemon. Um Finn, if you had any moves that could take care of bird types, that would be great, but this is a knock towel. And I kind of trust you to do it, man, but at the same time, yeah, he's doing some good damage to you, buddy. Okay, you're not doing any damage to him, so we're definitely switching out here. Yeah, Dip, you are apparently our ace right now at level freaking 27. Oh my god, that is a lot of damage with an uproar. Oh my gosh, okay, well... Quick attack! Oh, okay. Oh god. I don't know why, that was that was a scary moment there. Okay, let's put uh, Finn up first and hope that this lady has something that Finn can take care of. I forgot to go shopping. I was gonna go shopping for some items because, yeah, we need some. We're, we're kind of in desperate need of some items here. We still have some super potions, so we're good to go. That was a very clutch moment there. I, I don't know if we needed the critical hit, but we got it anyway, so there we go. <laughs> Are you going to gym? Me too. Okay, I'm not going to the gym. I'm gonna battle you though with your skip loom, which is probably gonna kill me. But I'm gonna go for bide, because I don't care. I'm just I'm oh you've got bullet seed. Alright, only hit two times. That's good. He is oh my gosh. Okay, Finn. You need to get out of here, man. Come buskin! Okay, that's half fighting type at least. So yeah, dip, you can handle this, I hope. Let's see. Pluck it away? Yes, alright. Why am I making such stupid calls today? I don't even know, man. I'm, I'm being really, really dumb with my battles today. Should probably not do that anymore. Let's go for the Antidote and the Super Potion on Finn. And hopefully the next Pokemon that we go up against is not something that can super kill Finn or Yegdip. Because that's almost happened twice. I think this is Cameron, finally. Just when you least expect it, I'm Cameron, the photographer. You look so photogenic, why not have a picture taken? Alright then, get yourselves ready. Alright. Our first photography session here, as we've got uh, Mothra, Ramus hiding behind me, Yegdip right in the center, because he's kind of the best. We also have Finn, and the last one I think was Cherry, all the way on the right. We might have one more. I guess we had Ducks, the Spiro that never was. Alright, a couple of more battles. I'm pretty sure that guy over there is a fire guy, so 
Finn is can actually handle him at least. So let's see what you've got. Diglett, all right, something Finn can actually handle. Thank, okay, never mind. He's just gonna dig, dig himself away. Maybe this is one hit kill? Nope, of course not. Dig yourself away, buddy. That's just fine with me. I'm gonna go for this potion that I've never used before, which is fine with me. Just gonna heal off your dig pretty much. Can we freaking hit you? Thank you. Kind of sucks that Bide has to wait three turns because we literally have to sit there waiting for Bide to actually go through. It'd be better if we had like a move that actually just hits in one turn. Okay, well, Lionoon is about to kill Finn here. Apparently, everything is dying. I am definitely going to have to do some off-screen training between episodes now because everything seems to not be doing very good. So, I promise that this episode or in between these two episodes, I'll do some training. Um, I'll put it in a little montage because that is what most people recommended that I do so quick attack once again saving our butts here and let's hope that was his last Pokemon okay no it's not we don't have any more potions either so that's not not that great can we kill this thing all right oh my gosh okay that was a critical I, I was I was uh I was a little scary everything is a little scary now though let's be honest okay I'm gonna go back we're gonna heal up and buy some potions because this is just getting way too close for comfort so let's go all right, we're back and we're ready to take on, uh, this is not the fire breather, the fire breather's up there, I guess. So Finn, let's just hope that it's something that you can actually handle. All right, Voltorb, that's, hey, we're actually immune to that. All right, that's cool, that is something we can handle. All right, well, I guess we got a little bit lucky with that. Maybe just the fact that we're great at this, at predicting what Pokemon are gonna be up in here or something. Anyway, um, as I said, we went and healed up and also did some shopping. I checked out all of the shopping center and they have some pretty good TMs. Um, I don't, actually they're not that great, but they do have some cool TMs. They have the usual Thunder, Blizzard, Fire Blast, Solar Beam, Hyper Beam, that kind of stuff. Um, but they also have Dig, Grass Knot, and Rest, I guess. I don't really know why they have those. Grass Knot's alright. Uh, maybe we'll make some use of that. As, uh, Drowsy here is learning Meditate, the user meditates to awaken the power deep within its body being raised its attack stat. Why would you raise attack on a Drowsy? I suppose maybe, I don't even know, does Drowsy have, like, good attack stat and special attack? I don't think so, that's like Metacham, but... Oh well, there we go, you're the best! You're the one who saved the Slowpoke! No wonder I couldn't beat you, would it be okay to give you my number? That's, that's fine. You also mainly couldn't beat me because I have a ground type against four Voltorbs, which... You know, it's okay that you don't realize that. I mean, it's fine with me. So we're gonna battle one more guy here. This is probably the final trainer we're gonna take on in the hopes of training up our buddy Finn here. And uh, there are a couple of more trainers actually that we can battle, but we definitely need some training. It seems that everything is like killing us pretty easily. So in between episodes, as I said, I'm gonna be doing some training. I'll put it in a nice little montage as we defeated Walt there. He also wants our number apparently. Don't confuse this guy with Walt, Walter White, though. He's, they're quite different people, but... Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. Uh, this guy doesn't want to battle us yet. Maybe... Oh, huh, is the uh, bug contest going on? I don't, I don't think so. This is National Park. Maybe the bug contest is going on. Who knows? Is it? Let's... Today's Tuesday. That means yes! Okay, well, apparently the bug catching contest is going on. Um, might as well give it a try. All right, I guess uh, we can't, can't do that. Alright, so I guess we're doing the bug catching contest just because it's already, um, Tuesday, or, yeah, it's Tuesday, we might as well do it. So I guess the episode's not over yet, this is a bonus extra long episode, we're gonna go and catch ourselves something. I wonder if, uh, the bug catching contest counts as a different encounter to the normal national park though, because, I, I don't know, does it? Huh, that's kinda curious. You know what? It's the first Pokemon that we encounter anyway since it's Nuzlocke, so might as well go for it, and it is going to be a Caterpie. A Caterpie. At level 29 Caterpie. Alright, well, I know that in this game Butterfree has actually been improved. I think its special attack is a lot higher, so guess we just gotta go for it, and there we go. We've got our, our next and final, not final, but yeah, our next team member, or, well, it's a Caterpie. We level it up twice and it'll already be a level 31 Butterfree, so I guess that's not too bad. Hmm, maybe the bug catching contest was not such a bad idea. Where do we go if we want to finish? Because that's all I can do pretty much for this bug catching contest. I know we're not going to win, but not like I was really looking to win. Okay, let's see. 
Hello, you still have 19 minutes. Yes, I wish to finish now. Please wait in the National Park for the winner's announcement. Alright, long story short, we caught that level 29 Caterpie. We got second place somehow, got an Everstone, and guess what I named it? Duchess is back, baby. Duchess is back. See you guys next time.